Hi, I'm Dave Epstein here at New England Grows and I've got an air spade in my hand. And you know, people come here, the horticultural professionals come here to learn about the latest techniques going on in the industry. One of them is moving large trees. So you at home, you might have a big tree that you want moved and you think, we can't move that. With an air spade, they actually blow the dirt from around the tree, it exposes the bare roots, and they're able to move trees that are really big, 20, 30, 40 feet high, in the middle of the summer, fully leafed out. We've never really seen that in the industry before. This is a way to move those large trees without having any of the problems that we have if we slice the roots. Let's go take a look at somewhere else on the trade show floor to see what one of those trees looks like. So here we are, 30-foot Zalkova. The air spade's been used, blown all the dirt away. Look at the roots, they're bare. They're keeping this a little moist so that the tree doesn't die. This will be put back in the ground, no problem at all. All of the roots are saved. And when you move the trees, you don't have the same problems with wilting or tree dieback or any of those other issues. So I ran into Mike Santoro. He actually works on this air spade technique. So Mike, tell me why this is so much better than sort of traditional big tree moving. Well, traditional big tree moving utilizes a tree spade, which cuts the roots. The air spading, I can explore the root system and preserve almost 100% of the root system. Most of the nutrient absorbing roots are at the end of the root system. And when you use a tree spade, you're cutting off those fine roots that absorb most of the nutrients. In essence, you're limiting the amount of nutrients that the tree can take up. And when I excavate the soil around the root flare, I can discover any problems I might have with uh, girdling roots and uh, any root malformations that have formed and take those away from the roots. It also decompacts the soil that around that root system. What do you find is the result later on after the tree's been planted? What's the health? How does that change? Uh, the, typically when you transplant a tree, um, the next year's growth is stunted a little bit. Um, we not having that when we transplant bare root. It's continued its normal functions as if it was in its natural environment. So if you are going to move a tree, talk to your certified arborist and ask them, are they using air spades? It's a fairly new technique. Not all arborists are going to use it, but you definitely want to find someone that is, because that means they're on the cutting edge. Come back every week for all of our tips and helps at Growing Wisdom.